Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosalind Kihamba. If you're new here, ensure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell because here we only talk about positive vibes of relationships and family. Today, I like to shout out to one Mary Aluvisia Kihamba. This is my sister. And my sister was the first one to comment in my last video. And I appreciate it so much, dear CC. Ensure that the people in the only city that is not under containment in Kenya, that is the city of Kisumu, subscribe to this channel and watch me give you a shout out. So tell your friends, tell the people in Kisumu city to subscribe and stay tuned even as you continue with the quarantine edition. Thank you so much for them that are returning. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for always staying tuned. Thank you for always being here to like li listen to to view those that keep sharing those that comment and those that like i appreciate you so much and if you're returning and you're not yet subscribed you know i realize that some people view they are they are consistent in their viewing but they're not subscribed subscribing is free of charge there's nothing there's no cost there's nothing like charges there's nothing like you know like monthly charges or anytime i post a video does not amount to you being charged so just click the subscribe button it is free of charge it's like just adding a friend on facebook you know it's or following somebody on tweet on twitter or even on instagram it's that free i mean let's be friends support this channel click the subscribe button I ever wondered why men and women are behaving so differently in relationship like the things that you call women in relationships are far different from from what he calls men like women i always say to be very interested in relationships like we always want relationships to work like we are the ones that are more interested like we tend to keep like we are the ones giving more effort putting more effort in these relationships and today we are just going to look at it from the bible the genesis how it began how marriage began how god started this institution of marriage and it's going to answer so many questions that you've been asking ourselves so let's go to the context of where god put adam to sleep why did he put him to sleep because he had said earlier that for adam there was not found a suitable helper somebody you know like who is suitable to be a helper to Adam and so God decided that I'm going to create a woman for him and he put him in deep sleep and he removed the rib and he created Eve so once he created Eve he brought Eve to Adam and that is the setting of this this eureka you know like eureka moment for me that's the setting and that's what you're going to use in today's video well, when adam woke up and found eve you know he could not even hide his joy like he's he was just wowed at that sight and what did he end up saying bone of my bone flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman and that is concept number one we are getting from this from this setting that women we were created for the man like god created us having the man in mind like adam didn't have a suitable helper let me create this woman to be a suitable helper for this man and so that is how we came about that is how god created us and for adam when he found when he woke up and found eve the first thing that he did was just to gaze at her and you know like say these nice words and give her a name like you know give her a name and that's why most of the time people they say that you should take your husband's name like right now i should be calling myself rosalind mccoy chameleon in lua is called obongo bongo so you're wondering how oh, obongo bongo what are those like what was adam even thinking coming up with such a name so blame it all on adam if you don't like a name of anything blame it all on adam so adam that's why adam was very quick to name eve you know like woman you shall be called woman because he was very he knew that was his duty we are wired to hear more and more and for men they are wired to see that's why we always say that men are 
are, are moved with sight it's very true and that's why men will always be looking at pretty things you know you man is dressed is well dressed is looking pretty men tend to look more like you can't blame them that you know like much in the first thing they saw when they saw a woman was beauty and so they tend to love beautiful things and that's why that you 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 you're told try to look beautiful for your husband for your boyfriend try to look beautiful because that is what it calls them some sense of beauty some beauty leave alone the inner beauty because the inner beauty comes later the first thing they see is the outer first beauty. thing that god gave to adam was work like take care of these things name them you are in charge of this garden of eden and that is why men are not relational as compared to women that most men are always finding their joy their you know like their definition in what they do when you get a group of men look let's say like two men have met their talk will not be how many children do you have their talk will mostly be where do you work which organization do you work in what do you do what's your position there how many years of experience you know such kind of things they are always work based and when women meet our work our talk is always relationship based because that is the kind of purpose that god gave us when he created us that we find that when women meet they they tend to talk about their families their relationships are you in a relationship are you married do you have children when it gets to the fall of man god punished them god punished adam by telling him that you will toil the earth for you to eat that is his punishment was based to the work like god had, had created adam for him to work and his punishment was also related to the kind of work that he had been created for the woman her punishment was also related to her work like i get your work was to be like you are brought to the man like to help the man to be the suitable helper to the man and that's why her punishment was relating you just revolving around the man and family like you your desire shall be the man god increased the labor pains and uh, increase the labor pains because children also give the women satisfaction and no wonder when a woman does not have a child, you find that it feels like I've not yet fulfilled what I came to do. As much as it's not in our strength to bring forth, but we all, there's always this feeling of I'm insufficient, I'm inadequate just because I don't have a child. And God knew when he was making us relational. And that's why in our punishment it had to include something relational the man our desire shall be the man no wonder women are always ensuring that relationships work even after a breakup they still feel clingy you know like she's still following you up this relationship can work they always want to take the blame for marriage you see yeah because if a marriage is not working they feel like i'm the reason i'm the one who didn't do enough work for it to work sometimes it's not even you with the problem woman sometimes it's even a man but we tend to tell so blame. i hope this revelation helps you to understand how to relate women and men how to how to respond to issues that crop up or come up in our relationships for the good because our manual is just in the word of god if God does not teach us, then there's nowhere else we are going to learn on relationships because he's the author. As you have seen this setting, the first wedding in the Garden of Eden was, was carried out by God. So he knows. He knows why he created you as a woman. So even for the singles, maybe you're there and you're looking, you know, like as a woman, you feel like I'm not yet married. Time is not on my side it's don't blame yourself it's innate like god created us for the man like and that's why when you're not you're feeling like you delayed in marriage when you're not married or when you're in wrong relationships you feel like you are to blame turn it back to god he knows it all 
don't blame yourself don't feel so inadequate don't feel like so inappropriate god can still handle it god can still take you to the purpose the journey that he called you to walk so don't give up it's not yet over until god says it's over so just click the subscribe button it is free it's in a way supporting this channel and tell others to subscribe share comment and until next week goodbye